Hey guys, Michael Margos here. Today I'm gonna actually do my first ever review on game 2.0. Now, I'm gonna see you guys when we get started. We're gonna criticize it. We're gonna see how much from toy box to playset to freedom. So we'll see you guys when I'm there. So guys, first off, let's start with the playset. Now the playsets are really good. I love how there's three playsets, the Guardians, Spider-Man, and Avengers. We're going to go on the Avengers and see how it goes. So the Avengers is a free room where you get to play as Avengers. You could either add Rocky Raccoon in there or Nova. Now one of those two is actually really cool. But it lacks of, I mean, the storyline is good. I like how Frost Giants escape. I love the characters. I love everything. But we're going to talk about Iron Man now. Now, Iron Man is one of those OP characters. One of his moves is where he launches out a missile and wrecks every single thing. So I'll be showing you guys right now. <laughs> Fail. So yeah, guys. Iron Man, like I said, toy model is cool. I love the toy models too. That's not something bad. But it's... It's some toys they should have toned it down a little bit. I mean, like, I get it, Tony Stark, Iron Man, and all. But when you have a move that's like this, and you could do it as many times as you want, it just goes crazy. Hold up, guys. So, guys, we, we will also be joined today by Diego. He will also help me criticize this game. So yeah, the the adventure, the storyline, the plot, everything is good in every single, uh, well, every single storyline, especially the Avengers, which is actually one of my favorite, especially the final boss. Right now, I'm warning you guys now, which I bet you so many of you guys have played it, but I'm warning you now, spoiler alert, if you have not played this game. I love the adventure line, how the end of the game, it is actually how they fight the frost giant and the frost giant battle is hard if you're playing on medium which i was but even on easy even on easy it's pretty hard i've been i've, I've played it before now we're, let's talk about all these characters the characters are great hawkeye hulk everyone is great i love how you have the avengers and how you could bring two people nova and rocket that is something I Spider-Man Yeah, I'm gonna start talking about that soon. But yeah, I love how you can bring in two characters from each single playset. It really adds more free roam and more little helps to you. So if you ha don't have Iron Man, which you should, I mean, hey, get on like that. Because if you're like me and you downloaded it, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. You downloaded it? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is actually of it really helps you contain more characters and more of an excitement instead of just playing always as Hulk and like everyone else. I love how you could free roam and I love how there's a limit to it. Like you can't go like all the way cuz it's not going to be that cool, but I mean, it's really good as it is. There's also there's also some challenges, which I will show you one right now. So these challenges are really cool, because what you gotta do is just kill him. So if you're new to the game, like I'm not, but if you are, you all you gotta do is just you know attack. Anyway, so with that all well done, and I'm gonna stop criticizing Iron Man by how OP he is. We're gonna start talking about the playsets. Playsets are adventurous. They're they're full of excitement, especially the Spider-Man, the the Avengers, pretty much Guardians too. Now, now the characters are really cool too, also. And I love how you could free roam around, like if you're playing in the Spider-Man texture pack, it, not texture pack. Whoops! If you're playing in Spider-Man, Spider-Man world, you get to do what you want. It's pretty much an endless excitement. So with that all said and done, and with me, as you guys can tell in the background, fighting, um, we are going to actually go right ahead to the toy box. Now the toy box is going to be really fun, and I'll be talking about the free roaming and what you could do. So I'll see you guys when it's all done. So guys, 
But with that all said and done, I love also, as you guys can tell, the loading screen takes long. But well, as soon as you start the game, you come into a whole empty toy box for you to do, create, and what do whatever you want. It's your limitation. The only thing that's holding you back is your mind. You could create you could create statues, you could do whatever you want. And yeah. <laughs> And you will also be helping, like I said, also. But you could build so much stuff, stuff that you get. You could just, it's unlimited and have fun with it. So the toy box is really fun. Now, now let's talk about the multiplayer toy box. The multiplayer toy box is actually also fun because you could have a friend, a brother, anybody. Just come and help. I love how you could take stuff, buy stuff, and fix it up so that your toy box will look really better. It'll look better, cooler. You can switch up terrain, make me make your own world so like you're in a galaxy and like you gotta save the princess. You gotta save a princess or maybe just have a little bit of excitement for roam around. And it also brings in an excitement if you want your friend to join. Now, you could do what you want. As you guys can tell, we could do, be in a water slide. You could also buy little cool weapons. If you did not have Disney Infinity 2.1.0, you could buy the stuff like the baseball shooter from Phineas and Ferb, the Pixar balls, and a whole bunch of other stuff. The also, there also are two cool weapons, which is a, a fusion air, which changes the color. Or the platforming gun, which I could sadly do not have. But with the platforming gun, it creates platform, as it could be in his name. So... With all that all held and dandy, I will give it now my my rating. My rating will be a 9.5 out of 10. It's a really fun game and I really I really recommend it. Now let's give it to Diego. Diego, what would be your rec what would your be? Um, I would kind of give it a um yeah, same as you or like maybe like a 9.6, 9.5. Is there Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so I give it like what you give, or even a 9.6 because of the way you play the game. Like, you could go inside the interior, you could do it, you could, you have new stuff you can get in the toy box, you could, um, you could even get stuff in 1.0. Like, it's not just all the, all the 2.0 stuff, it's also original 1.0 stuff. So? Yeah, I'd give it a like a 9.6, probably. Is that your answer? Yeah. Okay. So I would give it a 9.5 out of 10, and Diego would give it a 9.6 out of 10. Now, thanks, thanks guys for watching the first ever review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye, you guys. Bye.